I've just kind of avoided YouTube. Oops, I almost ended my stream on YouTube. Okay, well now that that's sorted, I'm also going to put up a little text here because I do want to make sure that the audios are leveled properly, but I don't want to listen to them. Okay, so I'll put that kind of right down the middle. So here's the idea I have for this one. How does this go? All right. of that nature but first as you can see that's kind of a very rough idea I was just you know playing my piano for the first time in a while and I was like that sounds awesome let's try something at that speed make sure my metronome is on um, maybe a touch slower it kind of feels like a ballad to me you know baseline change which I'm totally gonna use but now kind of putting the piano aside for a little bit just to focus on quantizing this and making it sound while still being human um, making it sound a little bit more natural with the other instruments we're gonna be putting in there so let's try the quantization first so obviously this is like so quantized endings have to be quantized, but what does sensitivity do again? It's been a while. Okay, so that really messes with it. To my knowledge, this should just be the original version now, right? I don't know if you mind that, for the most part. this part so I, I went for the 2-5 totally by accident but I'm definitely rolling with that um, so what this entails is essentially just stealing the chords again um, do 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 okay just trying to keep them as close to original as possible so now we have Obviously, we'll fix that part too, but first, before we get to that, it seems that I kind of slowed down throughout, kind of as a natural consequence of the balladist nature. Um, so there's just going to be a couple of points here where there's like a bit of emphasis I put on reaching out of the, the tempo that I'm trying to fit into, which under normal circumstances is fine. But since I'm working with percussion, I'm going to really want to keep it as tight as possible. Um, so I'm just going to... That one's pretty good. I'm just going to try to tighten it out as much as possible without losing that human texture that I'm getting here. Um, and with with MIDI, it's it's a little hard. You don't want to have notes bleeding. MIDI pianos always hate that. Let's see. Oh, I like that. See, here's another example of it happening. It does sound really cool, though. I might get a vocalist to do something on this, as I do have an album coming in no time at all. 
else, so probably gonna make that something to look toward. Um, now I, I'm just getting a little sidetracked here because I just really felt the need to put... Sorry about that buzzing. I'll try to avoid that happening in the future, but um, it's just a consequence of the the sound card I use. Oh, nice! That one was even better. So yeah, I got a little sidetracked here. Just kind of how my creativity works. It, it goes in all sorts of directions, and in this case, you know, I'm a little worried about volumes here. So I'm just gonna like turn it down a touch. Hopefully that's a little better. Um, I haven't had anyone say anything, so I probably don't have anyone here, but hey, <laughs> we'll run with it. So, so the idea I had was do do. This, this uh, little quote-unquote vocal engine is really great. It's got a lot of good ones. I want something that sounds... Let's see what the one-shots are like. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, no, you know what? I'm actually going to cancel that. Harmer has a really cool one. Where are you, Harmer? I can't believe I'm going for Harmer over Exhale, but it's totally worth it once I find this very cool sounding voice. I don't think that's it, but oh, it's hard to voice this. Oh, wait, that's really short. Okay, well, maybe I don't want that then. Oops. Yeah, I don't like that. Back to exhale. Or maybe we can try... Let's try a music box. Those are fun, right? Hello, Kirigaya Kazuto. How's it going? Sorry if I butchered your name. Oh, that's the one. Oh, they don't have a B? That's weird. people here. Hey, Bruce Lee. Oh, thank you for hosting me. That's cool. That's pretty neat. I don't know if I've ever had someone do that. Yeah, that's more what I'm after. So now that we have that kind of laid out, I'm going to kind of circle back around to finishing the progression. Oops. Uh, just because now that I have that laid down. I don't have to worry about losing the idea. Um, and there's a lot of parts to that idea as well that are going to come into play. But for now, I'm feeling a little bit more confident in my creative ideas here. See how weird the timing gets at that part. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Alright, so that definitely has to go just about there. See, this is exactly what I meant. Like, as a pianist, the whole goal is sort of, a f you know, your music breathes as you play, which is great in a solo piano setting, but not so great when you bring percussion in. And that's what we're trying to avoid here. Which is why I'm going to select all that out. And you know what? Since that half's quantized, um, no, you know what? I, I like the natural feel. So let's keep it going. Let's see what's happening here. Now, as you might have seen if you were here a moment ago, felt like supporting some small boys after- Oh, damn dude, I feel that. How's my day been? It's been alright. How do I compose? Do I like using scales? Oh yeah, um, lately I've been really addicted to- uh, That's wrong. I've 
being really addicted to E flat major. I don't know why, but I found a lot of creativity coming from that scale. What do you stream, Bruce Lee? Um, you know, it's real tough for, for small streamers out here, so I, I appreciate the struggle. I really do hope that it comes around for you. You know, if you stay dedicated to anything that you care about, the whole goal with this stuff is, you know, you're following your passion, and any sort of financial gain or gain of any nature kind of comes as a logical consequence of following your passion and staying dedicated, so keep that up. Uh, my day's been good, I'm just a little sick, so I picked up the piano, I haven't played piano in quite a long time. Actually, I went to a music store just the other, just yesterday, that was my first time touching a piano in a while, and I, I do feel really inspired after that, so I decided to bang a new one out. I have a big album coming up, so hopefully, you know, hopefully we can see something come from that. But, um, yeah, so with this one... I've been really addicted to, let's see if I can show you, so you're going to see a little piano on the screen here. So lately I've been really addicted to stuff like this. So this B right here, which is out of key, um, and I've incorporated it into some, some pretty cool stuff. That's a good example. Oh, and this, also changing this C minor, which is the sixth which is normally minor, um, taking it to major really brings a whole new flavor to that chord. So like an example might be... You know, obviously that's like a really overdone progression. If you've heard any of my music, you'd know. I do that one a lot. Hey, th <laughs> thanks for the sub. <laughs> That's funny. Um, you might be subbed. I I'm a pretty pretty known musician, so you know that might be where it's coming from. But it's really cool that you pop by. I really do appreciate it. Um, I guarantee the new version, like the final version of the song, you'll actually really dig. But we're not there yet so I think I'm more of like a hip-hop focused artist as of late so if you like that kind of style that might be why you're subbed that would be my guess are you guys able to see that the messages when they come up I really hope so usually it works Jet Set Radio that's a great game I've never played it myself but it is so beautiful and stylized totally dig it Okay, that's very cool and weird, and I love cool and weird, so let's roll with it. So now, this is clearly super off. Do, um, and this one's also really quiet too. Do, do. Um, does that go out over here? Yeah, that works. I don't see why not. Um, do so that actually comes right back around to that two five thing I was talking about a moment ago. We're kind of doing exactly that here, just because it's such a logical, com comfortable way to transition back to the your root, right? So. In this case, we're talking. So, putting an F in, and then a B flat. That was supposed to be a B flat. There we go. It just—it's a—it's a natural way to take that progression. So, let's do it. Um, I might steal these just because they're already quantized. F to B flat. Oh, this one has to definitely go like that. I might want to quantize this one actually. Oh yeah? Jet Set Radio, is that by Sega? Sorry if that sounds stupid, but I think I remember it being on something. Um, maybe like Dreamcast? I don't know. I just remember it being something sort of Sega related. Um, 
Hey, Death Spear. Oh, glad to see you popping by. And thank you so much. Yeah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for that album to drop. There's a lot of good stuff. Okay, so this final chord is definitely not what we're after. We're moving up to the A, the, the B flat, so we definitely want that to sound like that. And actually, so we have already essentially, well, actually, no, this isn't. It sounds a lot like a 2511. So it's really just the C that's carrying that chord, but I'm gonna add one more element from an F minor here, just to round out, you know what, no, we'll, we'll stick without it. And then this is where we're transitioning back to the, maybe, do I like that? Yeah, we're transitioning right back to the actual root, oops. See, now it feels very natural. It's always about the natural consequence of the notes you're choosing. I kind of want a little bit of a strum on that first initial. No, there's too much decay. Yeah, I thought it was Dreamcast. So, dude. Something like that. Do -do. That's not bad. Yeah, but to be fair, Bruce Lee, like Sonic, Sonic's a pretty good, pretty good um, IP. I can't, I can't hate for a second on Sonic. So much of my childhood life is dedicated to a couple of the games that were also on Dreamcast, actually. But I played the GameCube versions because I'm a little bit younger. Oops. Do do. Ew. That's a cool little idea. Um, my concern right now is that part. So we're gonna try to move it down an octave and see what it sounds like. I don't know if this low D is gonna register. It's not. Oops. But let's see. No, that's just wrong. That's not what I want at all. Do 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 do. But um, the way we get around stuff like that is we just impose another instrument. So maybe we'll bring back in that vocal that we were talking about a moment ago. I think that might make the entire sound a little bit more full-bodied. Because right now, there's just a pluck carrying that melody line. Um, so I guess we'll see in two seconds here. I still don't know kind of what kind of sound I want here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, these are so cool. Oh, nice. Sorry about the crackling, let me fix that. I'm not recording anymore so I can up my latency a bit. Okay, definitely the winner for me was the zoo. That was awesome. Yep, the zoo is the winner. Okay, so now in order to add a little bit more power to that melody line, uh, and also now that we have that part, we can take these and bring them down. Oh. Was that the right instrument? No, it wasn't. Just because they sound so grainy up there, but that's okay. So both of these instruments, I'm adding a bit of a delay and reverb to for some more of a, as I said, a, really I'm just trying to fill out the space. See, that, 
that's that's really um, mystical, you know? Okay, so now for that second half, I'm thinking we introduce a guitar. Um, yeah, let's try that. And guitars are pretty cool. I don't play one myself, but I do have friends who do, if that helps. So, let me hear that part. We can see what we're gonna add. I think the biggest issue with trying to stream a medium like this is it's just such a, uh, a time sink. No one wants to really learn the, like, you know, five hour process of making an eight bar loop, right? Well, hopefully mine is not gonna take that long, but. Yeah, that's not really a guitar's spot. I might try one of these Asian instruments. Let's see, where is that? DSK. Asian Dreams. For some reason, I don't know. It feels kind of post-rocky. Let's see if I have something that'll fit that bill. Um, lately, I've been really enjoying a, a sample pack I have. Wait, what are these? Yeah, no thanks. But I do have a lot of breaks. find something that goes for the sound we're after here. Um... Yeah, none of these are at all what I'm after. I want like a real aim and break. Okay, that's fine. I'll just go get one. It's a very common type of loop, so I'm surprised I don't have any, but it will not be hard to find at all. And now it's downloading, so while we wait for that to download, that'll be kind of our percussive line for this part.
What is that? me but it's clearly some sort of feedback loop that's just getting louder and louder.